Three days before Christmas 1988, a computer worm was released on a very large international DECnet network. The computer worm was a DCL script file that would copy itself to another device and run. The computer worm was programmed to send an electronic message to the users of the machines running the worm. The computer worm was aptly named the Father Christmas Worm, as the message was a Christmas greeting and was signed Father Christmas. The Father Christmas Worm was designed to spread fast. The worm was released onto the DECnet internet from a computer at a university in Switzerland. Within 10 minutes of its release on the network, the worm was detected on Space Physics Analysis Network, also known as SPAN, which is NASA's largest space and Earth science network. The worm was estimated to have been copied to around 6,000 machines of the around 12,600 that were connected to the DEC net internet, but less than 2% of the copies actually executed. After its detection, a counter script was created to clean the worm from infected SPAN machines and stop the spread of the worm. The worm was stopped on the SPAN DEC net on December 23rd, less than 8 hours of its detection on the network. However, the worm continued to run on the Swiss local network until later December 23rd. If you're wondering how it worked, the worm was a program called Hi.com. The file was written in the DEC command language, or DECL. The scripting language provides access to operating and network level system functions on the local or remote host. The first thing the script of around 150 simple lines of code would do was copy the Hi.com file to the target machine. It would then try to start the Hi.com on that machine using the task object 0, or by logging in with the username password combination DECnet, DECnet. If it was unable to start, it would delete it from the target machine. If the target node does run the script, it's loaded into the machine's memory and disguises itself under the process name mail underscore 178 DC. Then it moves the Hi.com file to a hidden location. The process checks the system clock and if the time is greater than the start of Christmas Day, it sends a Christmas greeting to all of the users on the machine. I'll put the message in the description for you to read. After it sends the message, it deletes all copies off the machine and stops the execution of the script. The investigation afterward never found the person responsible for releasing the computer worm onto the DEC net, as logs from the user logins were all valid. The connection was done through an unknown terminal connection from somewhere within the Switzerland University. I hope you learned something interesting. The message that the worm would send will be in the description, as well as the reports on the Father Christmas worm. I'll even put a link to the source code. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now stop computing and have a good time at home. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.